Oh my god, I oh my god. Cheers! Ooh. Hey cuties! I'm Caroline. And I'm Charito. And this is the second episode of The Cafecito Chicas! So the Cafecito Chicas is basically our adventure trying to find the best Latino owned coffee shops. And so we cross all over SoCal to tread the tastiest yummy coffee. And honestly, so far it's been pretty cool. And today we're gonna go to Long Beach and Huntington Park to try some yummy coffee. Let's go. Let's go. Park. We're here at Cruzita's Deli and Cafe and we're gonna try it out. So it's a small red building on the corner of Stay and Florence. We saw lots of people getting sandwiches and takeout for lunch. It has a welcoming chill vibe. We heard that they have a really good coffee cake but we didn't try it this time. We paid over $5 for coffee and sat with the plantitas. It's really pretty outside being around the flowers and it's cool shade. I got this lavender latte. So let's try it. Oh my god, I taste the lavender. Oh my god, this tastes magical. I feel like I have the flower in my mouth. I like it, I like it. I'm kind of picky. I got the cafe de olla, classic Mexican with the canela and the sweetness. That's what I expected. But I got just cafe de olla black with ice. Let's try it out. It's refreshing because it's iced coffee and who doesn't love iced coffee? But mine is a little bit sour. I don't know if that's sour. Maybe it's just really strong. I don't know what it is, but I just I really love sweet sweet drinks and it just isn't hitting like I wanted it to <laughs> On to the next location. We're going to Playa Larga, Long Beach. <laughs> We're going to recreational coffee with today's special guest. Muffin. We almost missed it because it's a small location next to a brewery that had a really big sign. Although it's not Latino themed, it is Latino owned. The theme is a giant gorilla ripping apart a coffee bag, which is pretty sick. We recommend coming in early due to limited parking. I got the almond orjot latte. And I got the honey vanilla latte with oat milk. I don't know what orjot means, but... We're gonna find out. Um, what the lady said, the barista said, she said it tastes like the inside of a croissant. That's almond flavor. Ready? Oh my god. Oh my god. It does taste like the inside of a croissant. Remember that drink we had at um at the one in Pomona? What's it called? Cafe again? de Olla. Cafe de Olla. I felt like that one was really creamy and sweet. And this one's como un poquito amarguito. But it's still sweet. It's like smooth. It's smooth, yeah. Mine mine tastes pretty smooth too. Oh my god, this is nice. It's not super smooth, but it's like light. And it's still like it's, it's like good. like I really feel like there's an almond inside. Papa you know? doesn't like coffee, but she's our friend, so we invited her anyway. Clearly. You ordered a hot chocolate? Hot chocolate. Let's try it out. Oh, this is warm actually. <laughs> I'm freezing. Really good creamy. Not too sweet, not too bitter. Not foamy per se, but it's very rich. Yay. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really bummed that we're, we finished our adventure today. But it's not the last episode because we have many more episodes to come. Let us know which coffee shops we should try next in the comments. And make sure to like and subscribe for the next episode of The Cafecito Chicas. Chicas. Ciao.